So why that name therapy in the first place? Is a movie about the therapist, the skills of the therapist, or the therapist's way of like, or you know, acting of a ready doll? No. I'm disappointed in myself. I have the most beautiful wife in the world. Yet here I am. Helpless. When a woman finds a man she really loves, many things invade her mind. Many sweet life defining things. Anthony or Nabila? Both of them open me up to act. God! Loveling! What has come over you? Where is this coming from? Just save me the pain of seeing her! Must find a way to reconnect with your wife's heart and you. She doesn't love me anymore. I can't bear you no more. Don't touch me! Go away from me! No! You will tell me with your own mouth every detail. What is going on? Women have powerful intuitions. Mr. Lima, she knows. God no make all man begin the same. Did I say anything wrong? Hello, welcome to another time with the consultee. My name is Chacha Wabra. If this is your first time here, welcome. In what we do here, movie reviews and everything movie related. Right. And if you are a returning subscriber or viewer, thank you. How are you? How are you doing? Today we'll be reviewing the movie Therapy. It is a 2020 Nigerian movie collaboration with a French speaking African country because um, I was hearing a lot of French speaking in it. So, yeah, had notable actors and actresses like Richard Mofedami Doll, Ireti Doll, and Malinde Simo Saka Jean, Cindy Emade. Um, I'm not sure uh, about the countries not let me err on being vague it has to do with a lady who at the point of having a baby she lost interest in the baby she couldn't stand the sight of the baby and left the baby in the care of the husband you know so the husband was taking care of the baby the husband was you know doing everything was the babysitter was the cook was the cleaner was everything he seemed so loving so caring everything one of the most adorable men you could ever find and that man is Richard Muffet Damijo. So you can imagine Richard Muffet Damijo acting the, you know, ever caring, understanding husband. Problem, this issue had become so bad that they had to, you know, uh, go see a therapist. And that therapist is a Reti doll. They were trying to find out what happened, what, what is going on, why this woman wasn't crazy about her baby, even want to have anything to do with the baby at all. My impression about this movie, the way it started, I was okay. What influenced it really for me was the fact that some of the actors and actresses were strange to me. I didn't know them, so I was wondering. But um, I was just concentrating on Ireti Doll and Richard Moffat Damijo because the acting of most of them were not wonderful at all. It was as if Richard Moffat Damijo was trying to, apart from acting his role, physically trying to carry the others along like you guys support me that was what i was thinking it had a nice storyline that would have done better with some better actors like the lady that played the role of the wife to richard moffet damijo who should have been someone else that would interpret it of course though she tried to interpret the aversion to her baby and you know aversion to men and blah 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 it would have been better interpreted by someone else other than her i don't have any bias about her not because i don't know her i was just busy watching her i couldn't connect with the character and female leads character it wasn't wonderful at all. Irritated doll was just being irritated doll. She's a therapist, so not much going on there. 
out of I just need to review this movie. I need to watch this movie. I need to complete it so that when asked, I'll say, okay, yes, actually, I've seen this movie and this is what I think about it. I had no real connection to the movie. The middle of the movie was where the movie started to have a little bit of interest for me because I wanted to find out why this woman had this serious aversion to such a loving husband, such a wonderful gift of a baby and what was going on. That was what just held me. That was what just made me keep watching the movie. Other than that, I found nothing excellent about the movie at all. Richard Moffat Damijo was just inside everywhere. It was like, oh, I mean, you guys should just do something. Without his brilliance in that movie, the movie would have been a flop it wasn't wonderful at all and i was so bored almost the end of the movie just like say 15 20 minutes was the end of the movie i just started waiting for a resolution of the plot like let's just see where this plot this thing is going to end and as soon as it ended it, 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 it did end properly it was too short it, i just couldn't connect with it it was an impersonal movie that i know that i will forget in a hurry and i'm going to be rating the movie a 2 over 10 i wasn't really impressed and i cannot just begin to give this movie eye scores just cause of Richard Moffat Damijo. Yes, the lighting was okay. My photography was wonderful. The sound was good. The locations chosen awesome. But the characters in the movie did no justice to that word therapy. Now, what is the therapy in there? Is the movie about a woman seeking therapy or the movie about a woman who is broken by the circumstances that led to the decision that that she was making the movie was about a woman who had fallen into extreme postpartum depression and felt uh, betrayed by her husband's secret and all uh, she had gone through in the hands of her boss that led to her hating her baby so why did that therapy therapy what i just don't understand yeah, therapy played a role. It didn't just resonate with me at all. So that's why I'm giving the movie a 2 over 10. Which brings my movie review to an end. Up there you'll see our Nigeria movie review playlist. You'll see more movies that you can binge watch on. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've subscribed. I'll see you next time. Bye.